Welcome back here at nine during Hispanic Heritage Month. Fox 4 is bringing you stories from people in our community making a difference. And Fox 4's Crystal Martinez is here to explain how a grant program is helping Hispanic owned businesses. Also what that support means for one business owner who's bringing a taste of his culture to KC. Crystal. That's right, 10 businesses were awarded $10,000 thanks to a grant program. Money one shop owner says couldn't come soon enough. Southwest Boulevard in Kansas City is home to many local businesses, including Luis Hernandez's bakery, Panaderia de las Americas. It's a small bakery, but we have a, like you say, like a little part of Mexico and other countries here in, this, in Kansas City. Hernandez also has a bakery in Mexico and wanted to bring a piece of it to Kansas City. When I came to United States, my, my goal was to have my own business. A business selling pan dulces, also known as sweet bread, a variety of Mexican pastries. But business hasn't always been so sweet for Hernandez. Not all the time is a good time for the business. On some, sometimes it's a little slow, sometimes it's good, but I think it came in the good time for me. Hernandez was one of 10 Hispanic business owners who received $10,000 from Folklore's grant program. Locor celebrates the contributions the Hispanic community has made on Kansas City. Luis Padilla is the owner of Fresco Marketing, which helps organize folklore. For me and for Fresco being able to do this, and, and thanks to Wells Fargo and the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, I think it's a, a, it's a good thing and it feels just great to, to help other uh, entrepreneurs. Padilla says they are doing the grant program again this year, helping Hispanic-owned businesses like Hernandez's, who use the money towards repairs in the shop. I just appreciate everything that they do for the small business. And sharing with the community through events like Folklore, many businesses that contribute to Kansas City's growth and local economy. And that's, uh, that's how we want this event to make a positive impact in the community, right? Like to get more people involved and to make more people uh, um, knowledgeable of what's around. The folklore celebration will take place this Thursday evening at 5 at the Corrigan Station rooftop. We have a link for more information on our website. John. Crystal Martinez. Crystal, thanks.